You're right, guys. Hope you're all okay out there. Today I'm making for you a char siu pork. But not just one char siu pork, I'm doing two a restaurant style and a takeaway style. And don't get me wrong, when I say takeaway style, what I mean is the red edge pork that you get in stir fries, chow mein, chop suey, fried rice, that sort of thing. So we got a nice piece of tenderloin of pork, fillet or fillet, some white pepper, some red food colouring. But this red food colouring is the one I'm using to flavour the takeaway. It's got uh, five spice powder in it and all that sort of thing. Soy sauce, dark and light, garlic, ginger, rice, wine, honey, hoisin sauce, oyster sauce and some brown sugar. Here we go then. Well, it's all about the marinade really for this one. In with the brown sugar, a drop of ginger, and the garlic, light soy sauce, dark soy sauce, and the bottle's nearly empty, so I squeezed it dry rice wine oyster sauce another empty bottle <laughs> uh, five spice powder that wasn't on the table at the start sorry about that and this is the red food coloring this has got all the all the ingredients in it but to a lesser degree Half a teaspoon of white pepper. And I'm going to put this into a vacuum sealer bag to marinate. I'm going to seal it, but I'm not going to vacuum it. So in with the pork. Yeah, there's the bag, Steve. Yeah, well done. In with the sauce. And there's two reasons why I haven't put the honey and hoisin sauce in yet. One is because it's so sticky it would stick to the container and the second reason is I forgot to put it in. So in with the honey and the hoisin sauce. And give it all a good squidging around. Get the pork totally covered. And of course a Ziploc bag does equally as well. Here it is all heat sealed and leave it in the fridge for 12 to 24 hours. And I left it for 24 hours believe it or not. There we are then 24 hours later time to start cooking. Now you need to line and reline your baking tray because this stuff is so sticky it's a devil to get off. And I'm greasing the little grid there to stop things sticking to it. I've already cut the bag open and I poured the sauce into the pan at the top right hand corner there because we're going to use this in a minute. Let the pork return to room temperature before you cook it and the first cooking is going to be 220 celsius for 10 minutes. No extra marinade. All we're trying to do here is brown the outside a little bit and lock in the moisture. While the pork's in the oven, add a bit of honey and some hoisin sauce to your reserved marinade. Yes, I remembered to put them in this time. And warm it through, boil it for about two or three minutes. This is particularly important if you're going to use the sauce at the end to brush over your cooked pork. Kills any of the nasties. You can leave the sauce in the pan when you're finished, but I didn't have any room on the countertop, so into a little tub. Out with the pork. Turn the oven down to 180 now. And brush generously with the marinade. Marinade's a bit thicker now with the extra honey and hoisin. And now you'll see why we've got the foil in the bottom of the baking tray. It goes everywhere. Flip it over and do the same for the other side. Now 
get into all the little nooks and crannies and then back into the oven 180 celsius another 10 minutes 10 minutes is up out of the oven and another good brushing all over both sides back in the oven another 10 minutes and then back out for one final coating just on the top side this time really good lathering back into the oven at 230 for the last five minutes you want to try and caramelize the coating not long to go now so get your serving dish ready I'm using some vegetable boiled rice video to follow shortly well here we are then after the final cook and you can see just how sticky it is yes I should have waited 20 minutes before carving this but I was so blooming hungry I had to get on with it cool look at that That is so well cooked that the sides are falling apart. I have to be really careful with the cleaver. Okay, I'm going to stop talking now and pass you over to Steve, who is chewing chopsticks because he's so hungry. Okay then, as you may have guessed guys, I need to eat this. Mm. A bit of rice. Yeah, cooked to perfection. Can't fault that rice cooker. Mm -hmm. Right, here we go, look at this. Look at that. Ooh. Mmm, still soft, not overcooked. Oh my word. I'm speechless guys, that is lovely. Right, I have to stop now because that's going to be my tea later. Well, later as in five minutes. Well that's the, um, the restaurant style char siu. Okay then, a bit easier with the takeaway version. A piece of pork and some flavouring. This one has star anise, ginger and cinnamon and of course the red food colouring which is what I was after for the takeaway version. Almost embarrassingly quick really this one. Into a vacuum sealed bag and yes I will be vacuum sealing it this time. I put in three teaspoons of the flavour in mix. Give it all a good shake about and seal it, in my case vacuum seal it. If you're using a Ziploc bag just zip the top shut and leave it in the fridge for 12 to 24 hours. And once again I did 24 hours. Here we are then a day later. Look at that colour. Cool. Um, I was being careful opening this and touching it because in the past 
my fingers have been stained for days. So I've tipped it out onto a bit of uh, kitchen tissue and patted it dry, patted it clean if you like. Wrapped it up in a bit of cling film and said I was ready to use it. And here it is, sharing the little trivet with the restaurant pork. And you can see why we lined the tray with silver foil. In the oven, 180 for 20 minutes. It's only a small piece of meat, didn't take long to cook. And here it is. And I reckon that's done enough as well. Because this will typically be used in other takeaway dishes, not on its own. Let's see what we got then. Yeah. Look at that. And this is the sort of thing you get in a takeaway. No stickiness to the outside, just the red. Hmm. Yeah. But the coating, it's got the five spice, it's got all the flavours there just not sticky. Take care then and I'll see you soon.